Hi, it's Dr. Spokal, functional podiatrist and medical advisor for StepStrong. Today I want to speak to you about two different types of Achilles tendonitis, what causes them, and how you can use systemic enzymes to support the body's natural healing process. Now, the first type of Achilles tendonitis is referred to as insertional. Insertional Achilles tendons can be felt on the back of the heel or on either side of the calcaneus or the heel bone. So it becomes really as that Achilles tendon is wrapping around into that heel bone and becomes your calcaneal periosteum. This is often associated with dynamic movement where you're pounding the pavement with the heel, experiencing those impact forces, and some of that uncontrolled stress is causing irritation and inflammation to the Achilles tendon insertion and calcaneal periosteum. The second type of Achilles tendonitis is mid-tendon. Mid-tendon Achilles tendonitis is going to be about one inch above the insertion, and it is often experienced when you are stretching that Achilles tendon, doing dynamic movement, and you do not have sufficient elasticity or stretch to the Achilles tendon. This can cause a micro-tearing response, which then creates pain. Now, regardless of the type of Achilles tendonitis, whether it's insertional or mid-tendon, there is this window of immunoinflammatory response. The way that you navigate through this immunoinflammatory response can dictate the sensation you feel and your healing process. This is where you can use systemic enzymes, such as those by StepStrong, to help navigate the body's natural immunoinflammatory process. So by incorporating systemic enzymes in your Achilles tendon protocol is a very important part. Now, a couple other things that you can do for Achilles tendonitis is that you want to minimize the stress. So avoid being totally flat and barefoot. Get into something with a little bit of a drop or put a slight heel lift into your shoes. You also want to avoid stretching your Achilles tendon. So you want to do more of a massage to the tissue versus a stretch to the tissue. And then you, of course, want to minimize and take away whatever dynamic stress was causing that injury in the first place. If you run, if you jump, I need you to take a pause from that for a period of at least one to two weeks. If you want to learn more about systemic enzymes and the role that they can play in Achilles tendonitis, please visit stepstrong.com. To learn more about how I approach patients, please visit dremilysplickle.com. Thank you.